And I want to welcome everyone to this edition of the Public Good App House. We'll be showcasing tech for your nonprofit to unlock the power of location-based data. So the Public Good App House events like these are an initiative of the TechSoup's Caravan Studios. Um, at TechSoup, we believe technology like smartphones, internet connectivity, training, and more have the power to serve our communities better. So today's presentation, we have Munira Lakanwala, as Director of Tech and Training at Little Sis. As a Director of Tech and Training, Munira coordinates key projects and initiatives related to Little Sis technology and the program to train aspiring power researchers. She also leads Little Sis Participation in Crescendo, a project with Action Center on Race and Economy and Empower Change. Um, to map the corporate power structure that profits from and is, is complicit in Islamophobia. Thanks, Marina. I'll let you get started. Thank you. Hi, thanks so much for inviting me to join. Um, my name is Munir Lukanwala, and uh, I work at an organization called Little Sis. We're actually primarily a, a research organization that does what we call power research um, on power structures. So kind of our mapping is more relational. Uh, we're looking at the way that corporations and government are kind of working together and mapping the kind of uh, relational networks um, between, yeah, cor corporate corporations and government. Um, some people call it kind of um, corporate opposition research. And our work is really focused on supporting grassroots campaigns um, that are kind of challenging corporate power uh, locally um, and nationally in some cases. So um, as an organization, um, we're known um, as Little Sis, and that kind of, I can talk a little bit about that in a second. Um, our other name is Public Accountability Initiative. And our work is kind of broken into three um, three areas, producing independent research, um, training organi or organizers, activists, campaigners in doing kind of uh, power analysis and corporate research. Um, and we do this sort of through um, strategic partnerships with different organizations, as well as kind of general trainings to the public. Um, and then the third part of our work, which I'll focus on today, is um, the technology that we create, we have created and provide for free to um, the general public to use to do the kind of research that we do. Um, we have two uh, tech technology offerings. One is the littlesys.org uh, database, which is, um, we get our name from um, littlesys is the opposite of Big Brother. So it's um, a free open source research platform for uh, researching powerful individuals and um, organizations. And um, it's, yeah, a wiki style tool. Anyone can sign up for an account and, um, uh, use the database and um, also edit the database. So add research to it. Um, and then the second tool, Olagrapher, is our mapping tool, which um, is what I'll show you all today. Um, and it's integrated with the Little Sys database. Um, and it's a yeah, a way for mapping kind of relational um, and power networks. Just a little bit about the history of Little Sys tech, the idea sort of originated in 2008 and um, it really came out of this need that we saw kind of in our movements for uh, social justice to um, have a, a place where uh, a lot of this research that was like living independently on different uh, researchers, um, you know, uh, Google drives could be housed in one place. So it was a way to kind of bring together um, so that people, you know, who are doing corporate research wouldn't have to sort of start from scratch, that there would be a kind of um, database where some of the relationships would already be um, uh, recorded and um, people could kind of build their research off of that. And then in 2014, we developed Olagrapher, um, which is our mapping tool. And the name is, you know, uh, 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 two parts, ol you know, oligarchs and graphs, so mapping kind of power structures. And, um, and it became uh, really useful. We, we saw it as an opportunity to help uh, take the research that's in the Little Sys database and bring it to life. Um, and I'll show some examples of Little Sys maps in just a second. Um, so we have, you know, over the years, a really large community of users. We have, um, you know, over 16,000 at this point, um, people who are using the Little Sys database or have used it, have used the mapping tool at some point. Um, and the database itself has over um, 400,000 people and organizations in it. And um, yeah, 
a million, a million and a half uh, relationships between different entities. So I'll just actually um, show you all a couple of maps so you have a, a better sense of um, what the tool looks like. So just real quick, this is uh, kind of just the homepage of the littlesys.org database. Um, the database is comprised of entity pages. So basically like profile pages on uh, on individuals and, um, and corporations or uh, other kinds of organizations. Um, some people have referred to us as the involuntary Facebook of the 1%. Um, it's a way that, um, and, and the, the data that's in the Little Sys database comes from publicly sourced data. So in order to add a relationship to the Little Sys database, you need, a, uh, you need to cite a source and um, users uh, use primarily uh, publicly available data to do that. So, you know, for corporations, um, um, Securities and Exchange Commission filings, other kind of primary source material um, is a lot of what uh, users are at using to add relationships to the database. So I'm just gonna show um, a few examples of maps. I know that uh, this tool is um, different from some of the ones that we have already looked at. So um, an example of the kind of map that a user might uh, make uh, using Olographer is something like this to sort of look at um, look at kind of who is giving money to uh, different uh, hacks or different kind of business associations that are sponsoring certain kind of bills. So this is a map that was made recently, um, or actually, sorry, not recently, um, to show uh, to show some of the organizations that were kind of. Uh, you know, uh, sponsoring or supporting a certain kind of bill uh, that was being passed locally in Florida. Um, and it's, yeah, a way for, for users to, and researchers to be able to kind of take maybe what might feel like wonky data or um, information that, you know, might not, uh, might be hard to kind of convey to a reader in a news article and visualize it and be able to share it that way. So it's really about like the power of visualization to help tell stories about the flow of money or the way that kind of power functions. Um, another map that was made actually early on um, in Olographer, in the life of Olographer, is this uh, map that actually went viral, I think at some point, um, that's about uh, the different banks and entities that were profiting from uh, the Dakota Access Pipeline. Um, and so this is a multi, this is what we call like a story map. And that's uh, partly that's partly because uh, it has these annotated slides that help you move through different parts of this very large map um, and help tell this kind of like complicated story about how um, you know different banks and financial institutions are sort of uh, propping up this, you know, kind of environmental disaster. So um, these are, yeah, two kind of examples um, of maps that have been made by users and um, to help kind of translate research into a story. And there's definitely like more, uh, more examples that you can look at if you sign up for an account and uh, log into the database. You, you can explore more kind of user maps here and just kind of get a sense of, um, yeah, the breadth of research and and mapping that's happening on the Little Sys database. So I'll actually stop there. Thanks so much. <laughs>